What is Halo music? And you know, it's very thematic, character-driven moments. I mean, there is a long legacy, and for us, we wanted to distill the, the essence of what those were. There's kind of this sacred element. The orchestra is larger than life sound. And With Halo Wars 2, we were kind of handcuffs off and gloves off. I mean, it was like, we have a chance to do something completely new. When I sat down with Brian and Brian and said, hey, you know, we want to launch a whole nother score, rebirth a whole franchise, um, or a part of our existing franchise, how, do we, how are we going to do that? And so we thought, well, let's call Gordy. Gordy's someone I've known for years, and we've been wanting to work together forever, and we were just waiting for that perfect project to show up. The Bryans and their completely unique sound with Gordy's complete mastery of, of the orchestra, and it was like, wow, I think this is going to be groundbreaking. Something that I wanted to do, and we discussed this in the beginning, was uh, uh, approach the score very thematically. So each character having a theme, and sort of a, in a more old-fashioned, traditional approach to the score, but done in a modern way. We wanted new themes, and, and that still kind of felt, feels like Halo, but it also moves the story further and taking the sound you know, into the sort of next generation of, of Halo music. With Atriox, uh, he's a brute and this huge intimidating character. There's a darkness to a lot of, of the sound texture with him. He's a tragic figure in, in, in an interesting way. There's, there's a little bit, of, there's sort of a sadness and a hope. As an audience member, you, you see this character and you can relate in some way and understand where he's coming from. And I think that the best villains in history always have sort of this backstory that you can relate to and so you can understand exactly why they are the way they are. You know, it's funny, j just like we have this compelling new character with Atriox, Isabel is just as compelling, if not maybe even more so in a different way. We wanted someone to be relatable. Um, there was a delicate side, an emotional side, but there's a really strong side to her too. Isabel is, is a hero, and we wanted to approach it that way and make sure that it was a theme that could be translated and heightened in the important moments. But then there's also how her theme intersects with Atriox's theme. This is true crafted orchestral writing, and this is Gordy's mastery of the orchestra coming into play. For me, it was, it was a, a great challenge to actually get in and study the sound, sort of the, uh, the harmonic language of the Halo world. I knew it was going to be cool, but until we heard it being performed by the orchestra at Fox, Suddenly it comes to life and it's just this amazing, breathing, living thing. 